Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 23rd, 2021. If you like support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new studios, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have really bounced from the 300 moving average, which is a very bullish shine indeed. If you manage to take out these candlestick from uh, from yesterday and uh, and also on Wednesday then it's more likely that we're going to test these previous highs over here at roughly 93.41 so we have bounced from the 300 moving average very aggressively and uh, if you look at technical indicators we can see the MACD is flat stochastic is bearish and RSI is bullish at this point with a little bit of room to the upside we are most likely going to have a crossing of the 20 and the 300 moving average which is bullish and definitely also a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average which we have not seen for a very long time we have to go the last year to see that crossing and you can see basically what happened after that crossing usually that is a long-term uh, trend change and um, that is going to be very exciting for this market usually when the US dollar appreciates commodities fall uh, gold, uh, gold oil and so on but that has not happened yet. So we're still seeing rallies, for example, in, in oil prices and um, in other commodities as well. But gold is struggling. So if this really takes off, then it would be interesting to see what happens with those. So let's look at oil. So oil is kind of making a V-shaped recovery, uh, fairly ridiculous to be very honest. Uh, but we are still underneath the middle of the bullish band. So it doesn't really mean that we are going back to the very highs here, but we were very overstretched and uh, we have been rallying roughly 7-8% to the last uh, two trading days. And uh, now we are basically coming towards the middle of the bullish band. If we get rejected here, then we just may well basically fall back down. As the US dollar appreciate, it usually tends to work against um oil prices so so uh, we'll see break above the middle of the bullish band then we could basically be talking about going back to these highs if you look at technical indi indicators we can see the macd is still bearish but it's really turning around stochastic is bullish and the rsi is bullish as well so let's look at natural gas so natural gas really talk out, took off today. We are approaching $4 for natural gas, and uh, we haven't been there for a very long time. That is basically, we have to go back to, this was basically in 2018, uh, 2019, in the basically winter months, and, uh, and when we had this massive uh, rally up towards roughly five. Um, as long as weather conditions are as they are in the United States, um, we will see this market continue going up and and uh, for this time of year usually it tends to break down but um, due to the fact that it's very warm or everywhere and, and probably everybody's using air conditioning and so on then demand for natural gas is significantly high we are significantly overstretched or bond at this point other technical indicators are very bullish but at this point a pullback is expected very similar to what we saw here. It would probably take one or two days or basically happen tomorrow, but pullbacks are basically buying opportunities still. And and as long as the uh, conditions are the same, then this will most likely continue going higher. So let's look at copper. So copper has also taken off today and rallied quite significantly up towards the 50 moving average and the basically top of the bullish band. So we had kind of have been in before roughly 4.36 is an area where there we have to break above and uh, also the 50 moving average so at this at this point uh, well technical indicators are uh, favoring the upside macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and so is the rsi and we are rallying so we need to see there's no pullback in the base in the end of the uh, end of the session so Break above the 50, then we could go to 4.5, and then beyond that, uh, break above uh, below these candlesticks here, then we could back to four, and then the 200 moving average. So let's look at gold. 
So gold is uh, struggling at uh, basically around this area, which is at this uh, at this point uh, eighteen is uh, eighteen hundred and six, um, and it's not until we basically break above these moving averages that we could go towards the uh, eighteen fifty and the nineteen hundred. Um, last time we got to those points, it really broke down. And thinking U.S. dollar, if it really takes off, then it will hurt gold. If treasuries start to uh, to to uh, rally, then it will also hurt gold, and they are very low at this point. So, kind of looks like we could be testing these lows again, and then go towards the do double bottom. It uh, doesn't look very nice for the for the upside. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat as well. So let's look at silver. So silver has bounced from the 300 moving average and at this point it looks like the 20 and the 200 are going to cross. That is a bearish shine. And then it also looks like that the 50 moving average is going to, cross, to move in this direction and the 200 moving average is going to move in this direction. That should be a very bearish shine for this market in general. MACD is bearish, stochastic is about to cross the signal line, become bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. Break below the, the 300 moving average, then we could go and test the previous lows down here, which is around $23.76. So let's look at Platinum. So uh, Platinum has uh, rallied a bit today, up towards the 200 moving average, but we are having a crossing here with the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average. 50 is moving this direction, 200 in that direction, and then we'll probably have a crossing there as well, ending this uh, this uh, basically this upward trend. We are kind of being rejected at the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average every time we rally. So we'll probably see the same thing here. If we get rejected, then we could drop back towards the 300 moving average, uh, break above the 50, then we could be talking about uh, 1200 and so on. But as long as we are getting rejected at these rallies, then we are just going to drop even lower. Technically indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium is rallying up towards the 20 exponential. Uh, it is a crazy market. Breakdown towards the 200, rally above the, uh, to the 50, breakdown rally. So it kind of looks like we are entering a very similar uh, thing that we were in last year where we had this range here. Basically, the bottom being roughly 2.1, the highest being 2.5, and we were that, in that range forever until we basically broke out to the upside. Now it kind of looks like we are the highs here of roughly 2.8 and the lows here at 2.4, give or take. It's, but... That is to be seen. It's too early to say. Uh, I love those ranges because it's very predictable to basically trade them. But at this point, it's just a juggernaut. It's rallying up towards the 50, breaking down towards the 200 and, and so on. Tomorrow, it could basically fall all the way back to the 50 again or rally above here. So it is uh, not a market I am interesting in basically entering at, at this current stage. MACD is bearish, and stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium rallied up towards the middle of the bullish band and then got really hammered and uh, created an inverted hammer here, which is a very bearish shine. So if we get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then we could go back towards the 2411 and then probably all the way down to 2343. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the CASIC is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at nickel. So nickel has rallied up towards 18,840 and uh, pulled back a little bit. So we're getting fairly overstretched here. We're approaching an area where we really broke down the other day. Uh, so we're still in uptrend. Uh, 50 moving average, 20 exponential are holding rallies, 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 and so on. So pullbacks towards the 20 and the 50, they are basically buying opportunities. People are buying those dips. MACD is bullish, the is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. 
looks like 19,000 is about going to be tested and then we're probably going to go back towards the all time highs and that will be a struggle usually it tends to pull back creating a double top before um, going higher so let's look at sugar so sugar is um, well, also struggled. We broke down towards the uh, uh, middle of the bullish band and then rallied, but still ended up in red. Taking in the we can see the MACD is bullish, the Kansas is bullish, and the RSI is flat. And uh, it looks like we're just gradually going to grind back to the highs here. Break below the 50, then we could go and test these lows again. And also around here, 1626, and then the 200 moving average. But still, it looks like we are still in basically in a range. The highs being roughly 1834 uh, the lows being 1633 so let's look at cotton so cotton really nice um upward channel here fantastic to basically trade and we have it right there so we are basically approaching the top of the trade and then we should be pulling back if this basically if this trade is this channel holds break above that then we are most likely going to test these previous we are basically testing them at the moment but i mean these previous highs from here and break below the channel then well we're dropping towards the 50 and the 200 moving average but well still gen channel has been holding really nicely and that is a, a best basically what i like to trade the most if we look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the CASI is, uh, is uh, bullish as well, and so is the RSI. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa, as I said yesterday, it can tend to rally and break down. Um, Long-term trend here is still, is still negative, but uh, we were getting very overstretched and on the edge of being oversold and now we have this massive rally up towards the 20 exponential um 350 and the 200 have all offered support now the resistant i mean so expect pullbacks after these rallies the bigger the rally the bigger the bigger the fall so the higher rally to the 300 the massive falls the small rallies up towards the 20 exponential then we have a minor fall so kind of in that uh, in that direction and uh, we are basically bouncing off the previous lows here and if we get rejected here and break below these lows then we're looking at a move all the way down towards 2081 uh, so let's look at wheat so the wheat market fell off a cliff in the, in today and that it should not be uh, surprising as we have been rallying significantly we're very high in the rsi significantly outside here and this kind of sacred rejection there was kind of a massive warning that this was going to happen so question is whether or not we basically break back below to these very lows or we bounce from the 20 exponential exponential that is roaring towards this area here and uh, going to cross the 50 moving average if we have we have a bounce here so it is to be seen if we bounce then we are mostly going to take out these highs and go towards uh, 750 break below here then the 200 and the lows of 610 are going into play we can see the macd is still bullish and stochastic is becoming bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so hope you find yourself helpful you want to support your channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much